This is what it is to be an actor. I can't act. I'll never get another job again. Last night with my baby. Something like two in the morning when you run out of diesel for your heater. Uh -oh. That was so stupid of me. Oh no. I just died. I'm done. Happy opening. I'm on my way to rehearsal this morning, but I'm pretty sure I'm the first person here, which will mean the church will be locked. Hi, I'm Becca, and you're watching Becca and Joel. Joel and I live in our van Popple so that we might have the freedom to pursue a life in the arts. So today's episode is incredibly special, for I take you with me as I do one of my most favorite things in the world. Rosebud is a unique theater-centric town of a hundred people, and they produce world-class theater on their stage. Currently, I'm in a play here in Rosebud, Alberta, called The Trip to Bountiful by Horton Hood, directed and set designed by Morris Erdman. I'm taking you all the way to the beginning, in March, still considered winter here, when rehearsals first begin. Rebecca is out working today and she asked me to do the laundry today. She was actually worried that I was capable of doing the laundry. So I am going to prove her that I am one capable man and I will do the laundry today. Living in a van often means that chores are a little more inconvenient than usual. And for the most part, we had divided the chores up like so. Joel does the garbage, empty the pee bin, fill up the water tank, empty the gray water tank, fill the diesel, and fix any mechanical stuff. My chores were try to keep the van tidy, do the laundry. So naturally, I was nervous to entrust Joel with such a task. Do I leave them in? Is this normal for a drying machine? Oh, here we go. I don't know what I had to worry about. Joel doing the laundry, if anything, opened his eyes to how much work it really is. How hard could it be? So I think I forgot to check the, the dry alarm thing, is that what it's called? So I should probably go do that. Glad that was clean. I'm sure he appreciates me just a little bit more now. Yeah, so you didn't actually finish the laundry. There was a whole nother bag. What? Yeah, that I had to go in to finish. Where was this bag? In the door. You passed me the sheet. At the end of the day though, van chores are just best done when together. See, I'm so good at the laundry. Nice, clean bed. <gasps> started off with a vaccine. And guess what? I don't like shots. I hate needles and I definitely don't like vaccines. So we may have the stinkiest company with us because we took our pee bin with us so we could find a place to discreetly dump it. Do you want to dump it right now? We have like an hour. Yeah, we could dump it. There's a McDonald's up ahead. Since we're on the theme of swapping chores, I felt it only my duty to make sure that I emptied the pee bin. Alright then, let's do this. Disgusting. Even if it is the most disgusting job in the world. And yes, it definitely made me appreciate every single time Joel had to empty the pee bin. This truck's about as bird as you can get. Well, it's time to get her done. Okay. Just got a nice Thank you. Hi there, coffee and hot brown guys? That's right. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I have a good one. You too. With the chores finally out of the way, it was time for me to face my fear and get the terribly dreaded vaccine shot.
was that? Doing the archery swing. Yeah, no, it's like, it's- Let's go hit the button. Rush. I have to keep my arm in motion for the next two hours. Okay, so arm. That's how you beat the sore arm throb. <laughs> it's weird seeing the reflection. Whew. If you're ever wondering where you can get the best momos, let me suggest the place that we found that is our favorite. That is the Calgary Momo House. And it's even better sharing it with you. Mm, they serve it up and it's the best reward when you have to face that dreaded fear of a needle. What a great reward for what I had to endure. It felt like oh, a lot. Oh yeah, this was this, uh, the congratulations reward. What do you mean, oh yeah? You forgot the harrowing experience of a needle? As rehearsals progressed and weeks flew by, Joel ended up getting work of his own off in Calgary. So the time that we spent together was always short and sweet. So tonight is my last night with my baby for a whole week, but, Look what he's done for me. Hey, right hey, my love. Oh, what you doing here? This is looking a hella snazzy, mm -hmm. as the kids say. Give me a little bit. I see wine. Stop the clock. I see wine. <laughs> That's all you need to say, babe. Mwah. And before I knew it, it was time for Joel to say goodbye. And I may have taken for granted just how much Joel does for chores around the van. Because now I found myself in a position that I could have avoided if I had just thought ahead a little bit more. Something like 2 in the morning when you run out of diesel for your heater. Because I even had a thought last night before going to bed. I was like, I should chat. And I was like, no, no, no. I have like another 12 hours. I'll be good. some tongues. Covered in diesel now. Let's hope this works. Wait a minute. Priming this thing. Now we try to just hope for the best. So no, it uh, just died again. So oh, shoot. Maybe it just needs to be primed more. I was so stupid of me. I mean, all of it from losing the little. Tube. We're gonna try this again. I know you got this. What happens if you overprime it? Work for mom. Despite the lateness of the night, giving up was not an option. Not unless I wanted to freeze to death.
Joel's not picking up his phone, so I don't know how many times I'm supposed to prime it, what it means, what it even needs. Oh no, it just died. Sounds like the engine is quitting. Come on, little engine that could. Oh, I even tried washing my hands. Don't quit, little diesel heater. Chinese heater, you can do it. Oh. If you sing for it, maybe it will work a little better. Oh no. No, no, no. No, it's quitting again. My hope is that the nozzle isn't stuck in the tank, blocking the diesel flow. That shouldn't happen. Nozzle is not that big. What am I supposed to do? I don't know. Um, give up? Oh, this really sucks. Trying it again for the third time. See if it takes off. If it don't, call a doctor. I might need help. <gasps> well, it is higher than it's ever been. That probably means that it's finally reached the tank. I think it's working. All right. Good night. The heater stayed on for the rest of the night. So yay. Now, Sue and John have just graciously, while I'm in Rosebud, allowed me to like come in and use the house for certain things. One of my favorite things that they do, it's just so generous, is that they actually have coffee ready every single morning. One thing you have to know about Rosebud is people here are some of the best people. In you wake up in the morning, put your coffee on. You stare out the window, pray that I come home. You've been in love before, but nothing quite like this. I'm backstage right now. Off the set. What? We're in the middle of our yeah. I stole your heart away with just a will start on the right. It's also mostly my job to move this flat on stage by pulling these ropes. I'm your dream. Just waiting for my next time to go on where I move that big prop again. Really, this is what it is to be an actor. To be an actor is a lot of waiting. I mean, unless you're a lead role. But if you have a small little role like me here and there, then yeah, most of the times. You're just waiting to go on. This is my track to get him on the other side of the stage. We are currently underneath the stage. That's why you can hear them so well. I'm your dream. Okay, lunch time. Oh. It's toasty in here. Heater hasn't quit on me yet. I really miss Joel. She's a really good peep to have around. The changes in my life. Oh, it stinks. You just have to hope they get irritating enough by the end of the year that you're ready for them to go. I'm a dream. Day is over. Good night. There's a few things I have to do today. So we've been staying with our good friends and they've been so kind, so gracious. They've offered coffee every single morning and offered hot showers. John and Sue, if you're watching this from the bottom of my heart, I honestly think you're angels. I have a feeling like it's pretty still cold, even though every single day I wake up, and say, today, I'll wake up to green grass and leaves on trees. But no, it's still very much winter out there. Okay. Look. Oh my gosh. I told you, it's still very much winter. So, John and Sue have an Airbnb here. And this is the bathroom here at their Airbnb. And they're letting me use it. When I've had to shower in showers that have like no hot water, this, this girl is grateful. All right, and 
We are off. Head into Drumheller. Let's go. Feels good to be driving this again. It's been a long time, I think, since we've got this baby going. This is the first time since coming to Rosebud three weeks ago that we've actually moved her. Feels good. I think she enjoys it. Alright, we have made it to Canadian Tire. I don't know if you remember, but I happen to have dropped the spigot from our jerry can into our diesel tank. I'm gonna go see if I can find another uh, spigot, spout thing, whatever it's called, here at Canadian Tire. works. Hi, just Rebecca here from the future. This is what I can tell you about that spigot. Um, girl, I accidentally did the exact same thing as I was filling up the diesel. Pop went the spigot right into the tank. So now there are two spigots within our diesel tank for our heater. Oh, can't believe we've made it to opening. I feel like this is going to be the show where everyone is going to realize I can't act. I'll never get another job again. I do have a meltdown every single show where I literally feel like I don't know anything. And oddly enough, the more I act, the more I realize I just have so much more to learn. <sighs> keep it positive. Keep it positive, Becca. Keep it positive. I just want to be good. I'm acting right now on this stage with... Nathan Schmidt, Heather Pattengill, Judy Buckham, Caleb Gordon, Christopher Allen, like with, you know, Morris Ertman spearheading the team as a director, and, and, and I just, I couldn't feel more imposter. Oh, I'm pathetic. If Joel was here, he would say, wake up, Rebecca, drink some coffee, have some fun. He would tell me I'm a good actor. I got this. I know how to act. I don't feel like I know how to act. Now you know. Have you ever wondered how actors feel before they open a show? This one feels like this. I knew that the melancholy mood was only an onset of opening night nerves. I also knew there is nothing that a good warm up can't cure. So I made sure to walk through the lobby and the theater to encourage myself and remind me why I do this. And before I knew it, I was ready to hit the stage. Well, I'm done my day's work and I'm heading to go see my wife in her opening of her show. I'm so excited. I'm for a little baby wipe shower. I got a show to go to. I am covered in grime from Andrea Workin. My baby has gone to the rehearsal halls, so she's no longer with me, but I get to enjoy some yummy food. Mm. Don't we, Keisha? With Joel settled in his seat, it's about high time I introduced you to the cast. Hello! Hi, this is Heather. She is fantastic and just slays in this show. Oh, thank you. Everyone, this is Nathan. Hi. Nathan is awesome. And a fantastic actor. I'm so privileged to be on the stage with Nathan. Woohoo! This is Judith. Judith is basically theater royalty. <laughs> yeah, you're hilarious. And the star of the show. And Aww. kills it every single night. Oh, so much fun. <laughs> nice to meet you. Hi. This is Chris. Hi. Chris rocks. Yeah, I do. Is there a Chris Chris This is Caleb. Yes, it's me. Caleb's awesome. Oh, thank you so much. And since it takes a village to put on a play, let me also name the creative team. We have Morris Ertman, director and set designer. Amy Castro for costume design. Luke Ertman did our sound design. Michael Hewitt designed the lights. Samantha Showalter as our trusty stage manager. And Alvina Zimmerman as our ASM. The show simply wouldn't be complete without this creative team. I'm gonna get a few minutes here. I have to go back on stage and work on the walls, the wall police. But for now, I'm here and uh, 
I'm done. I'm done all my acting on the stage. Yes, it just came. You're doing all right. I had a call. I had a call from the Houston police to hold her until the sun could come for her. No, I want to just stay here now until I go out there. about your first show yeah. how are you feeling it was a good show nothing terrible happened you did great you should be proud <laughs> i missed our home <laughs> i missed you because <laughs> <Lynn> always looks as <laughs> clean it's a clean dishes you know i just do a very good job being a very clean person and you're not here I found out sleeping alone, I don't fall asleep till like 1 in the morning. I still wake up at 7. How rude is that? I knew mean, when we sleep together, you fall asleep before your head hits a pillow. Thanks for watching, and make sure to check back next week to see what adventures Joel got up to while he was away in Calgary.